All right, we are back with the West Ham career mode. So in this episode, we got 40 million to spend. And in this series, we have a new rule. That is a max of two signings in the summer window and one signing in January. So we already made our first signing in Broja, who I think is going to be very good for us. And in this one, we will make our second signing and also probably start the conference league. I mean, we got a good budget. You guys gave some decent suggestions. We got some very good options. We'll see. Um, I appreciate the support in episode one. Once again, if you guys want to see this series on the channel, then drop us a video like. That's the best way letting me know. And we are on the road to 100,000 subs. So hit the sub button down below if you've not. And I believe... Uh, Ronaldo career mode will be back tomorrow, I believe. If not tomorrow, then the next day for sure. Of course, we have filled out our short list with a lot of your guys' uh, suggestions, and there's a lot of good ones. I think Firmino is still the dream signing of the series. Like, we, we gotta sign him up at some point. But first comment, definitely sign Lingard because he did so well at West Ham, and it would be he would slot into the team nicely. Yeah, there were a lot of comments saying we should sign Jesse Lingard. And I feel like it's a good signing. My, own, my only issue with it is that we have a lot of cams already. We got four nows, we got Lanzini, and also you guys also said Vlasic plays better at cam. So, like, it doesn't make me think, should we buy some Someone with more pace to play on that left wing spot like uh terrier i feel like terrier and lingard might be my two top options and we can only make one signing so it's gonna be a tough choice and next one regarding signings you can say you have a maximum of three per year so like two in the summer one in january plus replacements if needed i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna sign like we're gonna say like um in terms of replacements one max so like for example this first window we got two signings max if we decided to sell declan rice if we also decided to sell let's say four nows then that would make it we'd have a maximum of three if we sell big player i think we should give ourselves one player to sign as a replacement i feel like that makes the most sense it'll keep it realistic and it will stop us from going crazy with the signings to start at least the series so that that's the plan and last one you need to aim for domestic cups pretty much our only chance for getting european football next season again and i agree with that i think us getting top six in the prem this season the first season is gonna be tough i mean it'd be nice to get seventh like exactly where west ham finished uh, last season i think but definitely either by winning the conference league winning the fa cup carabao cup i think that might be our best route to securing European football next season. So I think we will put some focus on some of the domestic cups. Okay, first game is Crystal Palace. So I'm gonna put Vlasic at Cam and we'll do, uh, we'll do Ben Rama on the left wing. Okay, so in the comments, you guys have said that his name is Broja, not Broja. But I was watching highlights in like Southampton's their main YouTube channel, their commentator says Broja. So I don't know how to pronounce the man's name. I've heard Broja, I've heard Broja, and honestly, I just don't know. You guys also said it's not Kufal, it's Sufal. So we should get that one right. And I think it looked it up, and I think this guy is a Ged. Something like that. We'll figure out how to say these guys' names. We'll figure it out if it takes a little bit of time. But Chris Palace, first sim game, it's gonna be it's gonna be another draw. So we started the season three draws, and Bowen has scored all like four goals for us. I guess Bowen is just like the main man of this team. A lot of you guys also said Bowen, he could play striker or center forward too. So maybe that's something we try at some point in this series. Who knows? Okay, five hours left. Uh, transfer deadline day. We got to make a decision. Now, we got a lot of players on here that are really good future targets. But I think right now, it's really Lingard and Terrier are the two options we are looking at to sign right now. I mean, a center back would also be pretty good. Maybe a center back will be a signing in January. I don't know. So, Lingard would only be 13 to 20 million. Honestly, that's not a lot. Like, he could play on the left wing probably and do like a, do like a decent job. He doesn't have pace though. And I feel like this team, we don't really have like a pacey player. Where Terrier is a pacey player. He's got 86 uh, acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 83 finishing. I feel like... Uh, I feel like Lingard if it may, might be a target for the future still, but I think we have enough cams. I really think we need like a like a pacey winger. Let's see how much it costs first though, because that might change our uh, our opinion of this. We tried 27.5 to start, see what they'd say to that. 38.3. Okay, that that's kind of a lot. 38 million. I mean, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have a lot in January unless we sold someone. Uh, like 31.5 maybe. I mean, that's reasonable for Terrier. 36.7. It's the problem is it's still a lot of money. 33. That is reasonable. 36. They just they just hiked it up on me. 34 million. Just accept it so we can have a baseline. Okay, 34 million for Terrier. I mean, that's he's a good player. Like, he looks really good. That's just a lot of money, though. Um, let's try Jesse Lingard just to see. Oh, yeah, this should be much cheaper. Are they gonna straight up accept 13 million? Yes, they are. Man, 13 compared to 34 million. Man, that's just a big difference. It's like a 20 million difference. And okay, that, that does change things. I think I think you guys would rather assign Lingard. There were some comments for Terrier, but there I think there were more comments for Lingard. And honestly, that price difference, I think, is what's going to change my opinion here. We're going to sign this guy up at some point, whether it's season two, season three, season four. We're going to sign this guy up in this series 1,000%. But I think right now, I think Lingard makes more sense. He literally does make more sense because we have uh, more money left over. AKA more sense left over. And honestly, this should have happened last season. Come on, he, he should have went straight to West Ham after his loan. So it's a it's a year delayed. We are gonna make this happen though. I think 13 million is not a lot. I mean, he is 28, but I feel like uh, we could still get some growth out of him even at 28 years old. And the man's taking a wage cut. So Jesse Lingard is gonna be 
our final signing of uh, the first transfer window. It hurts because I want a Terrier, but I think that money, the, the price tag is what was what caused it. I think 34 million, it's just a lot of money to spend over his value. Whereas Lindgard, I feel like we got a very good deal. So he had 11 at West Ham, but of course that's Vlasic's number. So I think we're gonna give him 14 because that is what he has at Manchester United. So we have our number 14 and we have our new player, Jesse Lingard. Hopefully that proves to be a, be a good signing. So Broja and Lingard, the reinforcements for us. I think honestly, I'd start Jesse Lingard on the left, I think. We will, we will try that to start. I feel like that might be our best uh, setup as of now. Look at that, Lingardinho is signed up to West Ham. I feel like we might see some good things from Jesse Lingard in this series. I do have a, a good feeling about it. Okay, so one hour left. Um, I totally forgot about one player in this team. Like we didn't play him in the last episode, and that is uh, that's Kurt Zuma. Now we know the controversy surrounding this man, and honestly, because of it, uh, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna just say goodbye. He can go sign to a new team. It's fine. But you know, at this club, we don't want any controversy, so I think we're gonna say goodbye to him. We got four decent center backs, anyways. Diop, Ogbonna, I like both of them. Dawson's very decent for a backup. And of course, again, to be the new signing. So I don't think we'll miss him too much. Totally forgot about that in the first episode. But that completes our first transfer window. Okay, now it is time to set up the Youth Academy. Honestly, none of these guys that were in here to start, none of them look really good. So I think we just honestly might just get a fresh start and just release these guys. Honestly, they're just, they, they're not good enough. They're not going to cut it. So we're going to send our first scout to England, of course. Um, We will do physically strong i guess and then i want to buy two scouts but i don't want to like break the bank i mean maybe we'll buy one to break the bank and then for the other one i mean 2.7 now we're gonna do the we're gonna be humble here and buy jack murray from scotland we're gonna send the first scout we're gonna send him to uh we're gonna do the czech republic you know find suchek uh fellow countryman so we will do let's um, what should we do here? Let's do technically gifted from uh, the Czech Republic. And then last one, let's do let's do Cameroon for three months and let's look for something else. Uh, maybe Playmaker, we could try that. So Cameroon, Czech Republic, and England, the first scouting reports. Now one player you guys said that would be interesting, I think uh, Tarkowski going to West Ham sounds like something that could be very realistic. You know, Burnley relegated. Um, He's got 10 months left on his contract. So that one's interesting to keep our eyes on if we want a new center back. And I think since Diop's only 24, I think we're gonna start Diop and have Ogbonna be the backup. I think uh, we're gonna give Diop a chance. So first game, we are playing Southampton and we've drawn the first three games so we need a win and also this is jesse lingard's um re-debut for west ham we got one we got one mission in this game and that is to get the first dub of this series face down they play a 4-2-2 i mean it's not the, the best defensively so i feel like this should be a win it is uh it's never quite that simple though okay for now antonio's got some space antonio didn't do much in episode one Already has a chance to do something. Kawak Peters, that is, uh, that's great defending. Short corner into Lingard. Lingard gets that to Cresswell. That's a very good cross. That was actually a, an insanely good cross. Okay, Suchek is a large human being into Jared Bowen. And that was a pretty good shot. Pretty sure it's Jared Bowen, right? It's not a Jamie, not Jamie Bowen. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. It's definitely Jared Bowen, I think. I saw James Ward-Prowse in the comments a lot as well for a potential uh, target. I don't see him leaving Southampton, though. He's like, he seems like he's a Southampton lifer but who knows for the future it could be a interesting pickup all right lynn gardino what do we got lynn Gardino, what do we got get that to antonio that's actually a great pass okay antonio almost turned right there okay, i don't know what happened there but this ball is in a fall to four nows okay get that to duckman rice can we swing that to jesse Lingard? okay what what was that armstrong has the touch of like leo messi right there the way he just brought the ball down that was disgusting okay how did bednarak just play the ball around us too oh that's just oh that's too easy that is so that is so easy for them and they just hit the post they would have scored that. I would have been livid. That was so easy for them to just hop in and just get a shot away. That was not good from us. I feel like this team has a lot of potential. Like, I, I like the way we're playing parts of these games. But we also do look very shaky at the same time. Like, the team needs some work. Okay, we should clear that, please. Diop, that is a great clearance. Okay, Diop is having a great game in the back. I should say a great first half. Maybe a great game is a little bit too uh, premature. Can you get this to Suchek, though? Lingard's a little away there. Get that to Antonio. Antonio shot and good save by McCarthy. Got these short corners look so good. It's like, when are we going to score one? Crossing like this, we get a better chance. And Suchek was right there for that. Okay. Second, I mean, Southampton are playing good so far. So second half begins. Um, it's It's been been pretty even so far. I don't know if that's a good thing or probably, that's probably a bad thing. We probably should be beating a team like this, but I mean, I do feel like this season is going to be a, it's going to be a pretty big challenge because we tried these sliders using Bayern. Of course, Bayern's insane. This team is not that good, so I feel like on these sliders, we are gonna we're gonna have some struggles. Antonio gets that to Lingard. Okay, we can't exactly beat people on pace, but Lingard's got a little ability here. A little ability. Okay, Lingard, if that shot's to the little bit to the right, that might be a goal. Okay, that's a good ball. That's a good ball to what Prowse. And they're gonna swing it back. And Ariola, great save. And Diop just like went uh, Diop went to come mark the out with the ball when he needs to stay with a guy who took the shot. Thankfully, we're not gonna we're not gonna be punished for that too much. This has the signs like another draw. I don't want to draw our first four games in the league. 
And Declan Rice Bowen gets that two for nows. That is deflected and almost in, but it's gonna go wide. Oh, that was a very good chance right there for nows. It's a good shot. I thought it might go in off the foot, but actually off the knee. Okay, Antonio, I am calling for you. Okay, that's actually decent. Oh, Antonio was so close to that. Why is he like going backwards though? Ball to Bowen, who's got the shot, and Bowen is gonna put it wide. All right, I'm feeling Broja against his former team, and we are also gonna do, um, we're gonna do Ben Rama, and then we're gonna put Lingard down the middle. We're gonna try that. Do check to Jesse Lingard. Broja, are you on side? I think he's on side. He's just not gonna reach the ball first. Yeah, she was offside, anyways. Mom and Rama, we gotta find this goal. Good ball to Broja, and Lingard almost got to that actually. Okay, Broja holding up the ball is actually a recipe for success, and Bowen gets through. Bowen, can we lift that for Lingard? Oh, that was that was not the right pass. Oh, Jennifer plays. Oh, Diop, that is a strong challenge. That's not a foul either. Yo, Diop is looking like an absolute beast in this game. To be honest, I don't want to draw this game though. Lingard, we need to we need to find this goal. Lingard, Lingard, get that to Broja. Oh, he was on side there too. I think. That's not a good ball. Broja. Broja. Okay. Someone please. It is Ben Rama and he's going to slice it wide. Bro, we've had, we've had like not great chances, but we just did not take them. All right. Let's throw on, uh, let's throw on crawl for suit check. It was actually, uh, it was actually deflected. So it was not Ben Rama's fault. Okay. We're going to take this short. This could be a winner right here. If we score it, Lingard, what do we got? Lingard, drag it back. Declan Rice, the captain. Great shot. Rebound. Oh, we didn't even get a shot away. Are we really going to draw the first four games of this series? That's a great steal. That is a great steal. Lingard. Get it to Bowen. Oh, what even is that pass, though? They're got a chance. Still got a chance here. Lingard. To Broja. Broja takes the shot. What kind of shot is that? Oh, this feels like the Leicester game. We totally should have won this game. But it's going to be four draws in four games to start the season. That is that's not a good start. I mean, at least we haven't lost. That's a, there was a, that's a very small positive from their start to our season. I mean, two shots to nine. We, we should have won this game. Okay, I think we need a formation change. I feel like we need our wingers pushed up more. That might get us going like attacking wise. So it's a very small adjustment to the formation, but I feel like it might help. And our next game is in our first, it's a first conference league game. So our group is Union Berlin, Vitesse, and also Randers FC. Of course, Union Berlin, our biggest uh, threat in this group. So we're going to play like a rotated-ish team and hopefully get our first win of this series. So you're, you're a European debut for this series. We face Manchester United next, I think. So that one's going to be tough. So if we win this, it'll put us in a good spot for that United game. If we lose or draw it, we're going to be in a bad spot though. Like we've been drawing too many games at this point. We got uh, David Luiz's doppelganger in the team, Crawl, And I want to see, I want to see a win. Okay, this is a good start. This is a very good start. This is a very good start. Okay, honestly, the bubbles are a little bit annoying to start the game. I can't blame that, though. It's just shoddy defense. I mean, it's a good tackle by Agbana, but they just get back in. And yeah, I don't know where I was going with Dawson. Don't ask me where I was going, so I don't even know. I was just hallucinating to the left, but okay. Hey, I said it. I think this series, we are going to definitely have our struggles to start. Okay, Vlasic and Broja, what are you guys doing? Get the, ball to get the ball to Bowen. Swing that in to Lingard. Lingard. Okay, what kind of header was that? I mean, it was still a good save. Now, let's tie this up immediately. Lingard. Okay, Lingard has a little bit of space. Lingard with the shot, and Keeper makes another save. All right, strategy number two, Lingard. Little dink into the box. I like it, but it's not going to reach anyone. Vlasic gets that to Jesse Lingard. Lingard with a shot, and that is off the chest of a Union Berlin defender. Man, is scoring goals going to be a problem in this series? Because right now, it's looking like a slight problem. One thing I don't usually play with... Okay, Declan Rice, what kind of pass is that? I don't, I don't usually play with two CDMs. I feel like having two very defensive midfielders like Declan Rice and Suchek, I don't know if that's hindering our attack that like we need a box-to-box. -box. Roja gets that to Vlasic. Get that over to Jesse Lingard. Lingard cuts inside, shot... And once again, it's going to be blocked. Okay, Dawson. Dawson just got turned. I thought he was going to get the ball there. I was trying to pass it to the to the left back. But, like, their player just ran past Dawson. I thought Dawson had the ball here. Right here. I thought Dawson, we were going to pass that. But that dude just literally just outpaced us. We are down 2-0 to Union Berlin. Okay, this, this start to this series is looking like not a good one. I thought maybe we could trust our backup center backs for this game. But that was looking like a, a fatal mistake. Okay, Kral gets that to Lingard. We need to see some, like, good movements. Broja shot. Man, we just got like no finishing right now whatsoever. I feel like Bowen. Bowen is literally the only one that scored goals for us so far. Lingard. We got a cross here, maybe. I don't get, I don't really see a cross. Lingard. Get that too. Broja. Beautiful. Swing it to crawl. Okay, that was like maybe one pass too many. If crawl would have just stood there though, he would have had a tap in maybe. Oh man, starting these center backs in this game was a mistake. Because they, Craig Dawson and Ogbonna, I think they're both just too slow. We are down 3-0 in the first game of the conference league. What is happening? Broja to Lingard. Ball to Bowen. That is actually beautiful. And Bowen scores. Okay, there's something to celebrate right there. Good ball from uh, from Lingard. Good finish by Bowen. Okay, we didn't even get a replay on that. Thanks, FIFA. 
but that is 3-1 at least going into the second half at least with the chance here now come on can that ignite some like spirit in this team and bowen continues to be the only one scoring for us which is funny um crawls gonna get that to vlasic vlasic to broja get that to bowen okay broja what kind of pass was that let's get it back to Declan rice wait for crawl i like that why is broja running all the way to the edge of the box i need him to be in the box hey dawson steals that i like to see that dawson actually making a challenge um broja lingard lingardino with the pass to broja okay it wasn't actually a wasn't actually that great but lingard still wins it back i think oh let's score this second right here and we have a, a decent chance okay dawson what are you doing with it in that spot lingardino with the shot lingardino hits the post oh that would have been just perfect of course we have to hit the post there that would have been literally the perfect time to score and get us back in this okay vlasic what kind of ball how did he just get that so high in the air at least lingard wins it we get a cross okay the cross is literally right at the keeper though and they've been terrible in the second half we just need to score get this second goal get us back in this broja he's not making a run we're gonna swing this back broja okay i need i need someone to be in a good spot Vlasic, Vlasic. Oh, man. Bowen was so free there. We're like an inch away from getting these chances off. Okay, we can't concede again. We can't let this get to 4-1. Otherwise, there's no hope. Dawson, good clearance. Oh, that's a great ball. That's a great ball. Fabianski does make the save, though. Keeps us in this game, although slightly. Although, I just realized it's 86 minutes, so I don't think we have much chance here. I mean, at least we scored a goal, but we're just not good enough in this game. I feel like we are lacking some goal scoring, like like uh actual clinicalness and a lot of players have honestly been disappointed i think vlasic has been disappointing i think broja has been a little bit disappointing although he is young i think he'll come good at some point but right now this team is looking a bit shaky that's uh that's not a good 3-1 loss to start our european campaign and like i said next game is uh is manchester united i think we might try the 3-5-2 with antonio and bowen up top i feel like we gotta try something different what's like that i feel like the the 4-3-3 styles aren't really working right now i feel like antonio up with a partner up top might work with uh, Lingard behind them. Now, I don't really know who to play on the left, though. Should it be like Cresswell? It probably should be. We'll, we'll play Cresswell there. We will see if this helps us against uh, Manchester United. Very, very shaky start. We got uh, we got a tough team here in terms of FIFA. So, yeah, we might go the first two episodes without winning a game. Otherwise, unless we win this, which would be a great win. So, we will see. Can the bubbles, can the bubbles disperse, please? The bubbles are a little bit annoying. Lingard almost just scored against his former team. Short corner into Lingard. Bowen. Bowen, you're not doing what I want you to do. Okay, Lingard. Deep cross in, that's actually decent, but it's not gonna reach anyone. Okay, Diop, I don't think you're shooting this. Gonna give that to Suchek with the shot, and that is gonna go barely over the net. Okay, Sufal gives that to Bowen. Oh, that was supposed to go to Lingard, not Antonio. That was supposed to go right to Lingard. Okay, CR7 in the box, and okay, that's a great challenge. And that was a goal kick too. That was an amazing challenge. Okay, Diop is looking like a pretty good center back. Sufal's gonna get that to Antonio. Antonio going to run. Okay, the commentator just said Kufal. Am I saying that name wrong? You guys said Sufal, but the commentator just said, uh, yeah, he said someone else. I do know these guys do say some weird things. Cresswell. I mean, that was an attempt. Oh, that's a great ball from Sancho, and Sufal makes a very good tackle though. Antonio, what a ball to Cresswell. Can we get a ball? Oh, man, we're just so close to getting chances. We are so close. We're just inches away so often. Okay, Rashford. I don't know what he did there, but Suchek stood in for the block. That could have been very bad. Antonio, Bowen, I need you to get on your bicycle. Antonio, another good ball to Cresswell. Okay, Bowen is just so offside there, and that is deflected, and that's going to go wide. It's honestly not been a bad start. I feel like we haven't played terrible in any of these games. It's just not been enough. Jason Lingard's shot is blocked. Going to go out to Agued. Going to get that to Antonio. Antonio to Suchek. Back to Antonio, and that just once again was too much passing. Good ball to Ronaldo, and Agued is there for the challenge. Oh, man, it's been good starts after good starts, but it feels like it's just not... Okay, that shot should have been a goal right there. It just shot it right at Areola, though. That totally should have been 1-0 to United. We just, got, we just got bailed out. Bro, once again, this game has the same feel. This could either be a loss or a draw. I'm not sure it's going to be a win. I don't know if I've seen enough from this team to make me think we are going to win this game. Restwell, good ball to Antonio. Lingard is on his run. But Antonio is free, and then De Gea does make the save. Lingard, Lingard, try to get that to someone. How, Lingard, how do you let Rashford steal the ball from you? That is that is embarrassing. Yeah, that's some good movement. Bowen, Bowen, there you go. Bowen, Bowen, beautiful. Jared Bowen, beautiful run. First time shot, and it's going to go wide. I maybe should have stopped and taken a shot like that way. But man, the finishing right now is just so bad. These players cannot finish decent chances i believe though i believe lingard to antonio antonio oh that's that's so decent to hey it does make the save though bro we are struggling out here for goals lingard ball to ogbana of all people lingard 
Rebound chance, Lingard rebound chance, and Lingard hits the crossbar for the second time. Oh, we're just so close. Yeah, it's just so far. Bro, the longer we go, like not scoring, I feel like it just it just beats down the team. And it makes us more, more likely to concede defensively so we can't score. And this looks like one of those chances, Suchek. That's going to block, though. Bowen, get that to Antonio. Decent, decent. Antonio decides not to shoot that first chance. And then De Gea. I mean, it was an easy save, that one. How many shots have we had in this game? It's actually insane. Lingard, cross in. Far post, actually decent. Suchek, you got to win that. Suchek wins it. De Gea makes the save, but he's going to catch it. Once again, so close. Yeah, just so far. Oh, man. They just come down the field so easily. Sufal, that's a great uh, tackle, though. This might be one of our better games we've played. We just we just can't score. Sufal, ball to Antonio. Antonio, got to score this, please. And the shot is just right at De Gea. I'm aiming in the corner. And these players, players just have a little bit of trouble. Trouble finishing. Okay, I need a better pass than that. Okay, get that to, get that to Sufal shot. And it's gonna go wide. Okay, Bowen is rinsed, so Brojan for him. Let's do Vlastic at Cam for uh, Lingard. And you know what? Let's do let's do Ben Rama on the left. It's like a team full of Timo Werners. Broja with the shot, and De Gea makes another save. It's like a team full of Timo Werners against uh against Courtois. That's basically what this is right now. Okay, this is a good chance to cross it in. Ben Rama, little dink in, two checks there, but of course it's gonna be just cleared. Okay, Diop, you're not gonna shoot this. We need, a, we need a better option here, Broja. Okay, Broja just gets tackled immediately. Vlasic does win it back, though. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We fought for this. We have fought. Okay, man, just no one's in a good spot. Like, bro, we have been all over United in this whole entire game. Just no goal to show for it. Is it going to end that way? Ben Rama, good ball. Antonio, Antonio, slide. Oh, man, it's just a little bit too late. We are in struggle city. Once again, though, still got a chance. We believe. We believe. We believe. Broja, please, Broja, please. And he sends it wide. It hit the side netting. Oh, I can't believe how many chances we've had. It's going to be five played games to start the series. Four draws and a loss. Is that our worst start to a series ever? It might be, to be honest. Okay, I shouldn't speak too soon because the game's not over. Okay, now it's over. How many shots do we have in this game? I cannot believe it in score. Bro, 16 shots to two against Manchester United. Seven saves by De Gea. Like, what else do we got to do to score? Honestly, once again, we didn't play that bad. We just can't score the goals to actually give us the points. Or the win, I should say. Like, I think 3-5-2 actually played the best in that game. Or out of the three games. So maybe we stick with that a little bit, see if it works. But I am locking this team on the training field and just, just shooting practice all day. You guys are stuck there. But okay, next episode, we will get into more conference action hopefully get our first win because it's starting to get a little bit worrying even in a sim game i would take a win now one thing I, we didn't talk about was declan rice i think what we're gonna do is i think in january by the end of january we're gonna give him a new contract and give him like a huge release clause like maybe like maybe 100 million i don't know if he would take 150 million but we're gonna give him a huge release clause and that way if a team meets it then he's gone i think that's the best way of dealing with that but we probably want to do that like in february i think i want declan rice for the full, full first season and then after that we'll see what happens but man we need to score some goals we have the timo Werner curse right now i think we'll snap out of it i mean the team's playing decent i see some potential but we gotta snap out of this goal scoring drought um of course drop a like if you guys enjoyed i'd appreciate it hit the sub button if you've not we're on the road to 100,000 subs you will either see the next episode of the ronaldo player crew mode either tomorrow or the next day let's that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day.